Hey everybody, today we have another Kaladesh bundle to open, not a fat pack. Uh, I think today we're just going to skip right ahead to the pack pretty much, because uh, you guys probably all know what's in these things, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started. Quick recap on what's inside these, anyways. Get your land pack, your D20, this new little dice box, then the outer case with the boosters, just the top of it, and then you have the player's guide over here. Shows you all the cards. Does not show you the masterpieces though. Um, then it's got the let's see, it's got the designers top picks for cards in here. Let's focus that a little more. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, just the art for the interior of the box inside the there um, and then just a quick reference guide followed by the 10 packs so we'll go ahead and get cracking on these uh, I did want to try something I, I saw another YouTube video where a guy was kind of feeling the packs to see which ones had foils so Apparently the ones with foils, I'm not sure if they're easier to kind of feel around or if it's like a stickier sort of feeling, so I'm just going to kind of mess around with these. See if I have the magic touch to fill these out. So I'm just trying to feel, you know, which one feels stiffer, which ones don't. And <laughs> right now I really have no idea. I'm not feeling much of a difference. All right, well, I'll, I'll guess that these ones might have foils. They felt a little bit stiffer, maybe, than these ones. Uh, but, yeah, I don't exactly know what I'm doing there. We'll just crack these first, see what happens. All right, I'm going to refocus this. Skip right ahead to the uncommons. Deadlock traps are rare. And no foil in that first pack. Alright, 0 for 1. Next step. As always, we're hoping to get that masterpiece. 
get a Bomet Courier and Swamp. Again, <laughs> no foils. So yeah, I definitely don't know how to feel for the foils themselves. Unless maybe all these packs have foils, that'd be crazy. Confestation Coos, the rare, and Forced. Okay. Nothing exciting in those three packs so far, unfortunately. Let's open up the next one. Uh, another crappy rare. <laughs> well, that's fat pack. Kind of sucks so far. Ether Flux Reservoir. There's our first foil. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it's a different feeling outside the pack. I don't know. Probably not going to post this video unless I get a masterpiece. That was a masterpiece for a second. Oh well. Well, so far two foils in the packs that I put over here. Wish I didn't have one though. Keep it going. Oh yes, there we go. Awesome, the best mythic in the set. That makes me feel a lot better about this fat pack. Sweet. Great card. Let me go back to that last pack, actually. I didn't even point out the rare, I don't think. Because um, I was disappointed it wasn't a masterpiece. It's an Aether Hub. That's the best uncommon, I guess. So good to have then foil. I got a Botanical Sanctum. That's a good rare. Crazy, I got the Chandra. Chandra, Chandra. Well, one Mythic, but it's the best one. Let's see if we get another one in the next two packs. An Authority of the Councils. An okay card. Good for draft, I guess. Alright, last pack. Let's hope we get something good. Really hope I get another mythic. I'm tired of getting one mythic in these fat packs. Actually, I don't even know if I got one in the last one. I didn't get one in the Eldritch Moon pack I opened. Okay, we got the little fox here. Council Shield Guard, Disappearing Act, and Territorial Gorger. Not a good pack. But, got the Chandra, so at least definitely broke even on this fat pack, I think. That's what, a $35, $40 card or so? Uh, I didn't separate the rares out, but I'll pull that Chandra back out again real fast.
There it is. Well, I'm happy. Uh, so maybe I'll post this, maybe I won't. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.